Hi there, this is Craig Beck from StopDrinkingExpert.com. I help people to quit drinking and protect their family, their reputation, their career, their income. And in today's video, I want to talk about all the things that happen when you stop drinking. Because I think it's important to focus on the good stuff that is coming. If you are currently what you would describe as a high achiever, a successful person, entirely functioning in society, then you're probably unaware of just how much alcohol is slowing you down and damaging your success. I did a coaching session two weeks ago with a guy and he said to me, Craig, I'm miserable. I'm just not hitting it like I used to. I'm just, I've got fuzzy thinking. My business is slowing down. I'm just not delivering the results that I used to deliver. He said, I'm only making half a million dollars a month at the moment. And I thought, what a month? But here's a guy who's making half a million dollars a month who believes that he could do so much more. And it's the alcohol that's stopping him. So these, these, this is not stupid people. It's, this, this is not an addiction that just affects people who are uninformed and uneducated and unaware. This is a blanket addiction that affects anyone, regardless of where you come from, your gender, your sex, your race, how much you earn, your background, doesn't care. It affects everyone. But when you take it out of your life, you'll be shocked at how many great things happen. Because it's so insidious and devious, it takes us years and sometimes decades to get addicted to alcohol. And it's a bit like, you know, boiling a frog. You drop a frog into a pan of boiling water, it jumps out. You put a frog in a pan of cold water and slowly bring up the heat, it boils to death. And that is what alcohol is doing to you. When you stop, let me tell you what you can expect to happen. Well, I'll tell you what happened to me. Uh, I lost 57 pounds when I stopped drinking. I had been borderline hypertensive for most of my adult life, probably a decade. Every time I went to the doctors, they were just about to put me on medication for my blood pressure, and I always avoided it. Within two months of stopping drinking, my blood pressure had not only reduced, it was in perfectly normal levels. I had sleep apnea. I was waking up three or four times a night in a panic because I couldn't breathe. That went within two months. I had a pain in my abdomen, in, this, in my, right, my right side. My liver enzymes were elevated. I was at the consultants every month for CT scans and barium scans, all sorts of things. Within three months, the pain went and never came back. I still, to this day, don't know what it was, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't something good. My relationships got better. I became a better father to my children. My finances off the scale better. Everything in life improves when you stop drinking poison for fun. That's the truth. Because you get your full brain capacity back. You're an intelligent person with a creative, powerful brain. When you get 50% of your brain capacity back, you can fix all the problems in your life. Instead of just pretending they're not there, instead of just taking an anesthetic, so that you don't have to deal with the credit card debt or what's happening in your business or your marriage. This is not a way to deal with problems. And we know this from psychology because look, when you're a child, if something horrendous happens to you and you're too young to process it, your brain has a coping mechanism. It represses it. So if something traumatic happens to you, your brain goes, can't deal with this, repress it, as in bury it somewhere in your brain so you don't have to think about it. It's giving you a short-term solution that's gonna come back and bite you in the future. Because these repressions don't go away, they just get buried. And what happens when you bury a demon is it comes back at some point in a different form. It mutates and grows and changes. And so maybe 20 years later, suddenly you find you've got agoraphobia. You're terrified to go out the house and you don't know why. And it could be just a repression has mutated and grown in your head. Now, at the moment, if you're using alcohol to avoid dealing with your problems, your relationship's not in great shape. I don't want to deal with it, I'll drink. Your finances are in a mess. I'll deal with it tomorrow, I'll drink. My business is not performing at the rate I want to. These problems are not going away. They're just getting worse. They're just mutating. So I encourage you to take action because every part of your life is going to get better. I promise you.
when you stop drinking poison for fun. That's where I come in. I want to work with you on a one-to-one -one basis. I want to be your coach. Because if you're like me, you don't want to go to AA and stand up in a room full of strangers and say, I'm an alcoholic. You don't want to take weeks off work and spend tens of thousands of dollars on rehab. You don't want to take dangerous medications that have horrible side effects. You want to deal with this quickly and in private. And that's what I do. That's my job. I do it every day of my life. I help people to quit drinking without willpower, without rehab, without medication, and without embarrassment. This problem doesn't go away on its own. I encourage you to take action, and I'm waiting for you when you do. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hopefully we'll be talking very soon. www.stopdrinkingexpert.com